In this video, groups in general are explained, as well as group administration under UCS. For example, I will show you how to set up a so-called help desk group. With UCS, access rights of users are generally regulated through memberships in specific groups. If, for example, a user wants to access certain files or the printer, this user has to be listed as a member in the corresponding group. Especially in larger environments, such a handling is very practical, because you do not have to change the rights of every single user, but can easily change the corresponding group. The groups in UCS are stored in LDAP so that they are identical and usable across all UCS systems. To manage the groups, select Groups under Favorites or Groups under Users. Here you can see all groups that are available and implemented in UCS. You can also browse through the groups here. With a click on the button next to the search bar, you can also define different search criteria to find your group faster. As you can see, UCS already has pre-configured standard groups for various purposes. For example, the group Domain Users usually contains all users of a domain. Alternatively, the members of the Domain Admins group have administrative access to the UCS servers. However, not only users can be in groups, but also servers or computers can be members. To give you an example, we will create a new group. You can select the container, meaning the directory of the group. I leave that at the default setting. Select Next. And here on this page, we can configure our group. First a name, let's say employees. We can also enter a description and add members to the group. You can add users who are supposed to be members of this group, or you can add whole groups as members of this group. This would then be a subordinate group of employees. Various apps, such as Nextcloud, also support UCS groups. Therefore, it is possible to specify that the group employees is also available in Nextcloud exactly as it is. The Nextcloud app must, of course, be installed for this. Under Advanced Settings, you can find very useful mail settings. You can define an email address for this group and add different users and groups who are authorized to send emails to this email address. If someone then sends an email to this email address, all members of this group will receive a copy. You can also add host members, which are computers, that can be in the employees group. Or we can add the employees group as a member of another group. Employees would then be a subordinate group of these registered groups. So for example, we can just add domain users here. And if we want everyone to be able to administer the printers, we can now also add printer admins. If wished, you can also define a certain group ID or leave this field blank to get an automatically generated one. If you want to directly assign a certain right to a group, you can do that under Policies. Under Policy UMC, you can select a policy configuration if one is already available for you here. Otherwise, you can also create a new policy here. Define a name and then set the list of allowed UMC operation sets. For example, you may want to assign view system statistics to a certain group. However, in this case, I recommend that you only create a group that does nothing else but assigning this permission to view system statistics 
and that you then assign this group to other groups. You can cancel the process here. With the button Create Group, we can then finally create our group. At this point, we can, for example, add another group and then call it Customer Service and Development and set it to be a member of the Employees group. This way, the whole group can be set up in a hierarchical way. First of all, what is a so-called help desk group? In our case, this is a group that can do nothing else but reset the passwords of different users. If you don't install this group under UCS, only members of domain admins can change the passwords. However, domain admins probably have better things to do than resetting any passwords and employees who are suitable for resetting the password may not be allowed to have all the rights of the domain admins group. We can easily install this group by selecting software in the main menu and there package management. And there we will search for the Univention Admin GRP package. And here we find the package Univention Admin GRP User Password Reset. We will install this package and after it has been installed, a new group has automatically been created for us. When we now look in groups, we can see the new group user password admins here and link it to other groups if necessary. To assign a user to a group, we select our desired group and then select members of this group and simply add users. Here we select the users we want to add and confirm this. We are done with a click on Add. And at the end, do not forget to save your settings. This has been our introduction to the group administration of UCS. Further information, downloads and an online demo can be found at univention.com.